Hi, I'm Alan Taylor for eBay Motors, and we have a special guest here on today's webcast. It is the grandson of the great automotive designer, Harley Earl. Richard Earl, thanks for being here and for being able to talk about some of these great cars. I feel, and we feel at eBay Motors, that you guys need to talk about your grandfather more. Oh, thank you. Well, That's there you a go. tremendous honor and introduction. Thank you. I'm going to jump right into it okay. because you, you have some great cars showcased here for me. I, the one I have seen that was here at the Peterson Automotive Museum where we're broadcasting is a 1919 Piercero that was customized for Roscoe Fatty Arbuckle. Of course, I know Fatty Arbuckle. But the car, when I came up the escalator and there was this beautiful Piercero, it, it was, I was awestruck by it. And this was a car that your grandfather customized. But talk about that car because he is a car customizer. Well, Harley was actually uh, Hollywood's first uh, custom car king. Right. He, um, he started designing these cars, ordering uh, large numbers of just the chassis from Cadillac. And uh, he'd often get the car and then cut the frames uh, in half and then extend them and also lower the cars. And that particular car that Fatty owned, and he had more than one Harley Earl custom show car, that car uh, had, um, you know, it had Burmese teak wheels, a wet bar, you know, it had a, an actual toilet. So if you're on the road, and it was all so beautifully appointed, you would never even know it was there if you were on a long trip and everything. But that car really began uh, Harley Earl becoming a, a customizer, but drawing a lot of attention from the east. And that's what they used to call the car companies back then in Detroit when you were back on the west coast. And Harley's father, of course, was a 19th century coach builder who sniffed the winds of change, started his coach building company in 1889 on Pico in Maine, not far from the Peterson Museum. Right down there. the street, literally. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, and then in 1908 changed the corporation from the Earl Carriage Works to Earl Automobile Works, sniffing the winds of change. And then Harley uh, went to Stanford, came back, and just started going to work uh, designing cars and doing them in a way, shape, and form that nobody had ever done before. He built a full-size clay model, paint it up, put in a real interior, no motor in the car, and then show it to a prospective buyer in Hollywood on the showroom floor at Earl Automobile Works. And you know the person's like trying to climb in, like this car, for example. And instead of it being a car, it was, um, it was show business on wheels. Um, you couldn't open the doors and get in. It didn't have a motor, but it was just a trick of art. The, the modeling clay that he uh, revolutionized or innovated became a standard in the auto industry. The, the history of Harley Earl, he has so much. I, I don't know where to start. And I think his role in our history sometimes is underplayed. Um, he really brought us the concept car. He brought us the tail fins on the Cadillacs. That's correct. Um, he's brought so much. Hang with us because we're going to do this. We've got a whole bunch of cars for you right here on eBay Motors. Richard, let's you and me do some more. We'll be back. Watch our next video. Thanks, man. Perfect. Good.